Subtle alcohol is a wonderfully versatile ingredient that lends the most amazing feel to our formulations and I took way too long to fall in love with it. In today's video, I'm hoping I can get you super excited about it so that you don't have to go years without it like I did. Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me and today we are doing an ingredient deep dive into subtle alcohol. In this video, we are going to be talking about what subtle alcohol is, why we use it in our formulations, how to use it in your formulations, substitution suggestions, and then we'll wrap up with five free formulations that you can make using subtle alcohol. As always, please think of these ingredient deep dives as the partner video for the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia entry on the same ingredient. So if you are looking for a quick written reference or further details, make sure you give it a read. It's linked in the description box below. What is subtle alcohol? Subtle alcohol is a saturated fatty alcohol that is usually derived from coconut and palm oils. It is possible to make subtle alcohol from other sources, but all of the subtle alcohol I've found for sale for making cosmetics and other skincare products has been plant-derived. Subtle alcohol is oil-soluble, vegan, and Cosmos and EcoCert approved. It's generally sold as small white beads, flakes, or pellets, and as such is very easy to confuse for other pellety white ingredients like emulsifying waxes and satural alcohol, so make sure you are double checking your labels when you're formulating. Despite having alcohol in the name, subtle alcohol is not drying or irritating to the skin. In chemistry, alcohol means an organic compound in which a hydroxyl group is bound to a carbon atom. The alcohols that most people think of first when they hear the word alcohol are volatile alcohols. Examples include ethanol, which is the alcohol that we drink in products like wine or vodka, and isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol. Subtle alcohol, ethanol, and isopropyl alcohol all meet the chemistry definition of alcohol, but subtle alcohol is not a volatile alcohol, it's a fatty alcohol, so it's a lovely emollient, non-irritating, non-drying alcohol, and is really, really different from alcohols like ethanol and isopropyl alcohol. Subtle alcohol will not improve a cocktail or sanitize your hands. Subtle alcohol is a component of the even more popular satiral alcohol, which is a blend of subtle alcohol and sterile alcohol. Subtle alcohol is inexpensive, incredibly versatile, and has a very long shelf. Shelf life. I highly, highly recommend having some in your DIY pantry, especially if you are a fan of lighter, silkier feeling formulations. Why do we use subtle alcohol in our formulations? Subtle alcohol is primarily included in formulations for its thickening and hardening properties, but it's also a gorgeous emollient. Now, of course, there are plenty of ingredients out there that can thicken and harden formulations, so why choose subtle alcohol instead of, say, beeswax or stearic acid? Subtle alcohol has an absolutely luxurious, powdery, silky, slippy, almost silicone-y, expensive skin feel, and it contributes that to our formulations. So in formulations, where you really want that lightweight, powdery, silky gorgeousness, subtle alcohol is the perfect choice. If you're familiar with the skin feel that stearic acid contributes to our formulations, I'd say that subtle alcohol is kind of the opposite. Where stearic acid is rich and creamy, subtle alcohol is silky and slippy. I've often described stearic acid as having the ability to take a liquid oil and make it feel like a butter. I would say that subtle alcohol has the ability to take a liquid oil and make it just feel like a solid liquid oil. It doesn't really weigh it down. It's solid, but it's still really slippy and satiny, unlike liquid oils that have been hardened with beeswax or stearic acid. Skin feel-wise, I find that satiral alcohol kind of exists between stearic acid and subtle alcohol. It's creamier than subtle alcohol, but slippier than stearic acid. If you'd like to learn more about stearic acid, I recently did an ingredient deep dive into it as well, so make sure you check that out. In emulsions, subtle alcohol adds body and improves slip, spreadability, and skin feel. It is lovely in face creams where its luxurious slip and light finish really shine, and it's also great in hair conditioners, helping to condition the hair and improve detangling. You'll often see satiral alcohol in hair conditioners, which is a blend of subtle and sterile alcohols. Subtle alcohol can also help reduce the soaping effect in your emulsions. I love including subtle alcohol in anhydrous formulations where it contributes that gorgeous, powdery, silky lightness. Because anhydrous formulations thicken solely with subtle Subtle alcohol tend to take on a sort of crystalline, apple saucy consistency and appearance. I usually blend subtle alcohol with other thickeners, so something like stearic acid or a wax, 
or make sure that there's a decent amount of a solid butter like cocoa butter, shea butter, muromuro butter, etc. in the formulation to temper that effect. Say you're making a body butter bar with some wax. If you include subtle alcohol, you can use less wax, you get less of that waxy feel, lightening up the bar a bit, and then you get that gorgeous powdery extra slippy feel from the settle alcohol. I also love blending settle alcohol with stearic acid so that we get the slippiness of the settle alcohol and the creaminess of the stearic acid. Settle alcohol will raise the melting point of anhydrous formulation so it can be a good tool for helping prevent unwanted melting of body butters. If you'd like to learn more about melting body butters and how to prevent and fix it, I made an entire video all about this last year so make sure you give that a watch. Settle alcohol is great in rinse off anhydrous products like cleansing balms and emulsified scrubs because it thickens beautifully and rinses off beautifully. It can also be used in surfactant products to opacify, refat, and boost foam. How do you work with subtle alcohol? Well, first things first, it's a solid, so you're going to need to melt it before you can do anything with it. It melts around 49 degrees Celsius, which is about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Chuck it in your heated oil phase to get it all liquidy and plain with all your other ingredients. I typically use it at about half a percent to five percent in emulsions but you can definitely play with more if you want just start with small batches take lots of notes and see what you think how much you want to use in an anhydrous formulation will really depend on everything else that's going on in that anhydrous formulation to show you how subtle alcohol works to thicken liquid oils i've prepared five mixtures with safflower oil 5 10 20 30 and 40 percent subtle alcohol in safflower oil each one was melted in a water bath and then stirred as it cooled the five percent mixture is liquid but definitely has more viscosity than plain old safflower oil it has lovely slip and tons of movement on its own, I think this could make a great massage oil. In my experience, thinner anhydrous mixtures thicken just a wee bit with subtle alcohol like this one will settle out over time. So I find subtle alcohol is not a great choice if you just want to add a little bit of body to an otherwise liquidy oily formulation. The 10% mixture is also still liquid, but definitely thicker than the 5% mixture. It feels more substantial than plain safflower oil, but not heavier or greasier. It's got great movement and feels wonderful on the skin. The 20% mixture has a really fun, soft, bouncy, cloud-like consistency. If you massage a small amount into the skin, you'll notice gorgeous powdery dry down and beautiful slip. The 30% mixture is a soft solid and you can really see that crystalline appearance I mentioned earlier. It's got great movement and playtime on the skin and dries down beautifully. The 40% mixture is a firm solid but not as firm as 40% stearic acid would be. It's slow to melt but if you massage it into the skin you'll notice it glides around really beautifully leaving the skin feeling soft and supple but not greasy. From for more demonstrations and concentrations, please check out the Subtle Alcohol and Liquid Oil Ratio blog post I shared back in 2017. And if you would like to compare Subtle Alcohol to Stearic Acid, I did this exact same experiment in the Stearic Acid Deep Dive, so head on over and check that out. With those guidelines in mind, have fun with it. Experiment and think, would the powdery, silky, slippy loveliness of Subtle Alcohol work with this formulation. Start small, take lots of notes, and have fun. I also encourage you to replicate this experiment on your own so that you can really feel for yourself why subtle alcohol has my heart. What can you use instead of subtle alcohol? The key thing to keep in mind when you're looking to swap out subtle alcohol is that you are looking for an ingredient that will offer really light, slippy thickening. Satyral alcohol is probably the easiest to find alternative, but it is a lot richer and kind of fluffier than subtle alcohol is so it might not work in all applications and there's a chance you're going to have to do some redeveloping to get what you want. A small amount of candelilla wax or carnauba wax could work as they're quite glossy glassy waxes and they're not sticky or creamy like beeswax is but this won't work in all situations. I would especially not recommend this for rinse off applications. Pseudo waxes, waxes made from hydrogenated vegetable oils, could work in some situations, but they do have a much richer skin feel than subtle alcohol does, so keep that in mind. You may need to reformulate. Laurel laurate could be useful in mimicking the feel of subtle alcohol. It's not as potent of a hardener, but it is very slippy, so you could try blending it with something like candelilla wax or carnauba wax or even possibly some satyral alcohol and see how that works. If you're watching this video sometime after it has come out, please make sure you are reading the encyclopedia entry as well because if I've discovered any great new substitutes 
substitutions and alternatives for cetyl alcohol since I filmed this video, they will be detailed in the written encyclopedia entry. And let's wrap up with five free formulations that you can make using cetyl alcohol. Formulation number one is my Pemberley Conditioning Body Butter. Silky cetyl alcohol and conditioning BTMS 50 thicken a base of creamy Muru Muru butter and ultralight camellia seed oil to create a body butter experience that is downright divine. If you usually aren't a body butter person, try a conditioning body butter. The finish is unlike anything else. My readers have described conditioning body butters as heavenly, too good to share, glorious, decadent, and amazing. Formulation number two is Little E's Lemon Shea Hand Lotion. I developed this hand lotion for a friend's daughter who had painfully dry hands in the winter and didn't like most commercially available lotions. This one features a relatively small oil phase to ensure it isn't greasy, so I included some subtle alcohol to give the emulsion good body and boost slip. Formulation number three is my Snowy Dawn Cream Luminizer. I think this is one of my all-time favorite formulations. Settle Alcohol teams up with silica microspheres to create a highlighter with a stunning cream to powder finish. The shimmery loveliness of this highlighter comes from micas. I used a blend of gold, silver, and a color-shifting gold mica, but you could switch it up and use whatever color of mica you want. Formulation number four is my Solid Olive Primrose Facial Serum. This silky smooth, light as a feather solid facial serum lives up to its name. It's an oil serum, but solid thanks to Settle Alcohol. It has has all of the satiny, lightweight loveliness of a liquid oil serum, but you can't spill it. There's a lot of room to play with this concept using different liquid oils thickened with subtle alcohol. And formulation number five is another one of my all-time favorites. It's my coconut massage butter. If you love massages, this stuff is fantastic. The powdery slip of subtle alcohol teams up with the conditioning goodness of BTMS 50 to create a gorgeous massage butter that has oodles of playtime on the skin, but feels satiny and luxurious rather than greasy or oily. It also smells like coconuts. I love it so much. For even more formulations using subtle alcohol, make sure you check out the encyclopedia entry. There's a big long list of them right at the bottom. And that's it. If you would like to learn more about the rather opposite stearic acid, please click here. And if you'd like to learn how to make a little ease lotion, click here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.